hey, why we're saying this is going to be different is because of the programs that we, we, we're going to bring on board. I went somewhere and somebody was telling me that, uh, how do you want to manage, how do you want to manage the oil and gas situation? Some candidate said he's going to sell off an NPC. Well, that's your forty, isn't it? percent. Yes, a geologist. Yeah. Yes. Somebody said I'm going to sell off um, um, an NPC, ninety percent of an NPC. Some say forty-one percent. Some say fifty-one percent. Look, oil shouldn't be our focus. We have other things that we can do together. We we'll start with agriculture, for example. And when we talk about agriculture, we're not talking about excitement of exporting forty thousand tons of tuber of yams to the United States of America. Mm. Do you know what happens to those tubers of yams when they go to the United States of America? You think they consume them? No. They take them to laboratories. They extract from them. And in those extracts, you find what you use in the pharmaceutical industries. You find what you use in the, in the, in the cosmetic industries. These are the things that have been sold back to us at premium, at the mm. highest value. So in, in other words, what I'm saying is before we can say we're successfully diversifying to agriculture, we must understand that we would have to know how many people exist in this country because we must have food for the people first. Nobody can tell me that this administration has done well if we still have people that are hungry mm. because that hunger is the key, is the center of everything. Mm -hmm. Now we know how many people, we know what we're storing and what we're taking into the system. We know what we're going to be processing. We know how we take moving from processing plant to the, to the, um, to the processing, from the processing plant to packaging plant to onward delivery to the people. Things are going to be in place that will create those jobs for people. But by the time you say, oh, after the farm gets, boom, export, and the people are hungry. Can we therefore say that you're going to look into the issue of the national ID card from what you're saying? When I say proper data management, that's what I'm saying. We all have to have a number. And I'll be glad if tomorrow I come here and even though you're going to address me as Ahmed Buhari, the first thing you're using addressing me is the fact that I have a number. Is that number that identifies me as a Nigerian? We get calls from outside this country. A Nigerian has been arrested in South Korea. Who is he? I don't know him. I need to hear that number. That number prompts us. That number moves us fast and say, yes, that's he's one of a us. Nigerian. That right. number is what we can put in place and say, fine, with this number, I can go into a healthcare center, present this number, and get a subsidy for my drugs. Okay. Get a subsidy for my treatment. Okay. Now, um we can't talk about all this without looking at the issue of power. Because power seems to be the basis for employment in Nigeria. Exactly. The basis for almost everything. Now, what are your plans to sort out our power issues? First of all, I keep saying one thing. Government has no business doing business. It is for the private sector. Government is a regulatory body. Our job as a government is to supervise. Our job as a government is to ensure that the people are doing the things that they are doing according to the laws of the land. Anything falling short of that, we disengage. Mm -hmm. But now we have a country, we have a people who, are from all standards, will tell you, oh, look, um, okay, fine, we're going to privatize this um, sector, but we're still going to hold the, 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 the central unit that takes in all the power. What do you call the central unit again? The trans the, 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 um, yeah, yeah. The transmission. transmission yeah. yeah, the transmission. It's going to own by the government. While we, I was in Kainja, I was in Jeba, I was in Shiroro, all in part of this whole movement. And yeah. I wanted to know why power was short. But Shiroro is functioning properly. Jeba, Kainji, they are working optimally. But when they generate, when they generate power mm -hmm. and send to the central point, everything doesn't work anymore because the central point can hold the power that's coming to it. So at some point, they hold on and say, hey, can you please stop uh, generating power because we need to allow this to fizzle out. And then we go to Mr. Short, Mr. Light, Mr. Boy, light out. Uh, we'll just take, let's just take a quick moment and we'll, we'll come back to continue this thing about power. Ah, please don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back. So um, you were talking about solving the power problem. Yes. You, you're saying it's not, government has no business owning any bit of it. I just think um, as a regulatory body, your primary responsibility is to see that the private sector does this according, accordingly. Because, hmm. you know, we have tried to see how government holds a bit of it and the rest of it to the private sector. And then the part, that's, the part that's gone to the private sector seems to be functioning. The part that's being held by government still seems to have a problem. Look, it goes beyond just 
the generation and the GenCos and the storage, it also has to do with the fact that we need to amend some of these policies. We need as a gov we as a government, we are going to ensure that as a private individual, if you have the capacity to generate power, then we should let you commercialize it, no matter the amount of power you're able to generate. But by the time you put a clause to it, when you still have people living in darkness, then there's a problem. What we're saying here is government just has to relax and say, you know what? What is the primary thing that I have to do as a government? It is to generate revenue. What has held back my generation of revenue to its optimal capacity? It has nothing to do but the fact that we don't have power. Can this power just run on its own so that we can focus on tax collection because then businesses will thrive? This is just simple. This is a simple thing here. But we have, we have decided as a government to be in the mix of everything. And have like you, I was with somebody... Have you, have you also thought about the fact that they are, there's, as they say, there's a cabal that has hijacked this thing and they are making money off this so that it has to stay that way, otherwise it won't make money? Anything is possible right now. But I can, you know, I can delve into some cabals that I've never heard of or seen. I just think we are all a cabal right now. Plus, the, from the people on the down level who would ensure that, that you don't come into the gates of a building because you want to do business. See, I'm going to go back to Rwanda. Look, when we went to Rwanda with my team of 10, as I said, speak with you right now, three of them are back to Rwanda because they went back and in two weeks they were able to register a company, see four ministers, and have started a business. That's the ease. It's simple. It's, it flows. The minister was supposed to travel the day they got there. And the, the, the lower officer said, oh, minister's supposed to travel, but this is good business. Let me go talk to minister. And then he went upstairs. And the boys were like, no, we're, when is he coming back? We'll wait. The Nigerian mentality, we'll wait. He said, no. They went there. They talked to the minister. The minister, he didn't, no, 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 no vexation, no anger, nothing. And the process went through. And do it. Okay, the the other side of it, we'll, we'll soon let you have you real quickly talk about education. How do you intend to change that thing to resuscitate the education sector? Education has to be decentralized. Is it not decentralized already? Not quite. Not quite. People still expect a federal allocation. People still expect a money coming from the center. And that's for that's for government institutions. Even for unity government, schools. Even the unity schools. No, I'm talking that that's only for the, I mean, what about the private schools? They can't be expecting money from government. What is, the, what is the business of the government with the private school? The private school can do its business. What we're supposed to do as a government, what we're supposed to do as a government is to ensure that people start seeing the government schools even doing better than the private schools. That is the primary goal. The reason why the private schools started thriving, go to a private school, the reason why the private schools started thriving was because the government schools started falling. That's exactly what started happening. So your responsibility is to see how the people will know who to hold accountable. If anybody is complaining about a school in my locality now, the first thing that comes to my mind is Buhari. Forgetting that you have elected people on all fronts in the build-up of whoever is in the center. But this is going to keep happening because the center is holding all of it. The distance have got to be broken down. And that is why nothing is reaching the people. There's a huge gap. And this gap has been filled with all the nonsense from Boko Haram to headsmen to baby factories to robberies to area boys to everything that has, the society doesn't accept today. <sighs> well, um, we got some tweets and, um, you know, the, this one came from um, Festus, who says, okay, Chuku, who says that I can see that Nigeria has a lot of bright minds who have actually excelled in private endeavors and can lead this country forward. Um, Kaya Day, that's a compliment to you. Kaya Day Eston says, the young presidential inspired student is a repository of knowledge. Though he shares the same name with the president, his ideas on governance and structure of Nigeria are noble. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much, um, Ahmed Buhari, presidential candidate of the Sustainable National Party. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me on Channel TV. I appreciate it. Sunrise will be right back in just a moment. In just a moment.